Guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Now, um, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, so, A and I are back from our holidays. Uh, we had a fantastic time. Um, you know, it was quite a long one and uh, well deserved. It was, we had a great time. Anyway, so this is just about um, the emails. So, since we've been away, um, we haven't touched any emails. We're just starting to get into it now. But um, um, the whole time we're away, and up until pretty much now, we've been smashed with emails. There's heaps, so there's quite a few to get back to. There's a lot of questions, and um, it takes me time because I want to answer the questions properly and in detail so people fully understand. Um, you know, they, you know, get their their answer done right. Anyway, um, so this is just you know an apology for for taking so long. So bear in mind, like, if you responded like a while ago, so you're at the bottom of the list. That's the way I'm going from bottom to the top, so oldest to newest. So you're going to get responded to first if you um, did it a while ago. Obviously, we'll work our way up. So as well, on that note, if someone wants a piece, wanted a piece, and they want to buy a piece or whatever, and they were down here on the list, um, and they said they bought it, and someone else up here wants that same item, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to tell you that that one's sold. So unfortunately, we don't have a website yet. In the future, we, we'll look into that more. Um, so that way it's a lot easier process so you know on the website for example you just be able to say you've got um, this pyramid for example we've got two or three of them and when you click you know that you want it you bought it, it takes it off straight away so it's instant so none of this you have to wait for us to respond to emails and let you know if it's still available or not I uh, hope that all made sense but um, yeah so this is just um, we're back we're going to get into it we need to make a lot more organized and it's just taking time, it's a bit of a lengthy process. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll spin you around and we'll have a look at I've got some organite laid on the floor here. I was going through it and just seeing what we had and whatever, but and what we need to make more of. But um, I'll just show you quickly. Um, there's a few people that, um, well, a couple of these are sold, I'll let you know. Um, for example, well, I had two of these, we sent them on the way just a couple of days ago. Um, so one left, but um. Yeah, this big pyramid here, that's sold. Some lady um, put down a deposit on that to hold it, so it is hers. So, yep, this one here, someone's very interested in this. I need to get back to uh, their email. Uh, sort of um, need to continue that conversation because um, he wants to buy potentially more pyramids as well because um, uh, he's got a growing room. So he's got a room where he grows microalgae, I believe. So he wants, you know, to grid you know, say four corners, something, uh, this piece in the center, and to get that room really uh, full of the life force energy, which is going to help uh, those microalgae grow better and, uh, you know, be more healthier and produce more yield, so to speak. Um, I believe that's what's going on. So um, as well, oh, I'll pull this piece down. It's on the cupboard. But this piece here is sold, this little pendant, nice little one. So um, it's got your rose quartz in it, hematite, you've got butterflies in there. So it's got copper powder in it. Black iron oxide shungite mix, as well with added uh, crystals and sunlight within the powders that you cannot see. But um, I've got to make one that's very similar, but with one butterfly. And instead of the rose quartz, it's got it needs to have tiger's eye. So apart from that, it's identical um, as well. So that one I just showed you is sold, but I need to make another one for another lady who also bought this one. So she's bought this pyramid here, which is an interesting piece. It's got a lot, many, lots of gems in it, gemstones. You know, so that's sold. Um, yeah, and it's just uh, there's a few things that we had to pull from our, one of the shops that we have our stuff in and in our Woodside. Um, so a lot of these pendants here have come from the shop Woodside because um, it's better for us to have um, things on hand here so you guys can see it. It's better for you guys, um, you know, than in the shop because if you don't live here in South Australia and close to Woodside, you're not going to go in the shop, are you? But um, you know, you guys can get more stuff and see what we have if we have it on hand. You know, it's just easier to get it out there. So this one here, I'm pretty sure you haven't seen either. It's just a, um, just need a touch of cord there. Um, and these ones here, I'll explain these ones here. Now, there's this person that emailed me, had this idea, he gave me this idea, right? He, he wanted a Christian cross and he gave me the idea, can you do it with selenite? And I thought that was a great idea. So I went ahead and I made them. So these are just really recent maids. I pumped them out because he requested them. And, um, you know, I went, I love the idea. So I couldn't help it. So I had to do them. I was very excited. So he requested red jasper as well. And there's hematite on the front. 
you know, Christian cross there. If I flip it over now, you wanted something to um, symbolize the blood of Christ. So there's what that's why the red comes into it. And I sort of made it so that it looks like the blood sort of fading sort of thing or running in a way. So that was, that was the look I was going for. So yeah, copper coil as well on the back. So yeah, just a nice piece. Now, I did this other one here. It's pretty much like the opposite sort of thing, how instead of it being a black on the front, it's the red. Um, still same thing with the cross in there, the solid up cross. You just only got hematite on the front though. The other one's got um, hematite and red jasper, but the red jasper is on the back. So that's what this one is. So that's what that looks like. So unless the, he wants both, then he will have to have both. I'll have to sell it to him, but um, because he gave me the idea and all that. But if someone else wants that, you know, you're a Christian and you like that idea, you know, because, you know, well, I'm sure if you're a Christian, you know the story. But, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, he was a sacrifice and um, he was sacrificed himself or whatever so we can be forgiven for our sins. So his blood symbolizes, you know, that. So that was the idea. There you go. So this is what we have. A couple of pieces are sold, but uh, hit us up if you, you know, like any of these. Uh, tower busters, for example, they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, good stuff, strong stuff. And, um, yeah, anyway, guys, I said short video, so um, it's going on for long enough. And uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.